Hello and welcome to Superbility, the channel that aims to hone your communication skills. So please do subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications, which is the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. This way you won't miss out on new videos. Right, today's topic is around articulating your thoughts. So stay tuned. When you can't put your thoughts into words, there is usually one of the two problems. Either you lack communication skills in a particular language, for example, poor command over English fluency, or it's a personality trait, like being an introvert who just isn't comfortable around people. And notice, I said trait, not an issue. Because being an introvert is in itself a problem, but not progressing because of it is a major concern. So let's tackle both of these aspects in this video. Thinking in Hindi but speaking in English will always create confusion in your mind and speech and take away the clarity that it deserves. So the most basic solution is to think in English. Now this may be hard to begin with if it's not your first language but you will get there eventually with practice. Now the question is how and what to practice. I often tell my trainees to describe whatever they see. Now, this is a simple activity which, if done throughout the day, will ensure enough practice if you keep doing it religiously. Kuch complicated nahi hai. Jo dekha, wo bol diya. If you're driving or going somewhere in a cab, then whatever is in front of you, just keep on narrating that. For example, in front of me is a car. It is yellow in color. There's a kid in the back seat who is waving at me through the... आप गाड़ी के पीछे वाले ग्लास को क्या कहते हैं इस एक्सरसाइज से आपका दिमाग भी चलेगा और वो कैबिलरी भी अच्छी होगी यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड दैट आर्टिकुलेटिंग योर थॉट्स विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम इफ योर कैबिलरी इज नॉट स्ट्रॉन्ग सो स्ट्रेंथ एंड दैट योर कैबिलरी फर्स्ट फाइंड द वर्ड इन डिक्शनरी और ऑनलाइन इफ यू डोंट नो इट इन दिस केस इट्स द रियर विंड शील्ड नॉट रेयर 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 इज अनकॉमन रेयर मीन्स द बैक So back to the description of that vision. The kid is waving at me through the car's rear windshield. There is a scooter right next to it. The rider is wearing a black leather jacket and a grey helmet. The beggar kid is going to each vehicle to ask for money, not vehicle. That's too strongly pronounced. You've got to be more subtle in that pronunciation. So try it with me. Vehicle, vehicle. You get the idea. Whatever is in front of you, hoardings, the traffic scene, or even An, an incident that happened some time back that you can talk about. For example, um, I can't believe she said that in that argument. What was she thinking? She made me feel so bad. Now, I thought that was hurtful, but I tried to understand what she was saying, although her tone was wrong or incorrect or out of order or um, uncalled for or inexplicable. Whatever the level of your vocabulary will allow, just try using it. Let your brain get used to just picking words that you know and applying it to that scenario. You may make mistakes and it may just sound totally wrong, but there's nobody around. It's only you. You can afford to make mistakes. Jitni galtiyan karni hai, karo. Kyunki aapko koi judge nahi kar raha. But you have to practice. Your brain has to really learn how to talk in English and think in English. So let it pull the words that it wants to. Kabhi thik pull honge, kabhi galat pull honge, lekin and it will still be English. Now, the fact that you can identify that something is wrong, that's progress in itself. So don't worry about speaking incorrectly. The correction will come from your own brain eventually. So wherever you get a chance, just check on that mistake and rectify it and be eager to learn. Now, let's talk about how to handle hindrance that comes with being an introvert. Someone could ask you a simple question, but if you feel you're under some kind of pressure, then no matter how simple, that answer just can't get formed. Introverts generally get hung on that one word that their brain is looking for. Wo kya word tha? Bas. Conversation aage nikal jati hai aur aap us word ko retrieve karne mein lage rehte hain. In school, were you the ones shying away from self-answering or raising your hand? Because although you knew the answer, forming the thought into exact words took longer. Well, how to solve that? You have to stop overanalyzing whether that word is the best fit, whether your audience appreciates your intellect. You are just thinking too much and putting unnecessary pressure on yourself. Because introvert people talk less, they process a lot inwardly and that can be time consuming. So you need to shorten the process of approval that goes on in your own head. Firstly, relax. 
Stress is only going to make things worse. Don't put extra pressure on yourself. Don't even let the rushed or questioning expression of the speaker or teacher or friend who's in front of you take control. Don't even look at them directly if that's distracting you. Look beyond, maybe at the blackboard or the wall to shift your focus to something more encouraging. You know, sometimes while anchoring on stage, I use this very trick. I either get glued to a welcoming face that's in the front row or ignore the judgmental faces that are sitting in that row and look at the crowd behind. It always works. Now, if the question is at work, then you can always buy time saying, I'll get back to you. And that should give you enough time to form your answer, which you can then later email or message. But if it's a general chat at a party, then you could change the topic if candidly done so. If you can't find the word that you're looking for, well then compromise with another word and forget about who is judging you. Try the describing activity I mentioned earlier and see how your word power shapes up. Just talk and practice. I know it's easier for you to send a text, but wherever possible, get yourself out of that comfort zone and call people, family, friends, colleagues. Now they don't know that you are practicing on them or with them. It will help you in the long run for sure as you will keep getting comfortable with that each day. So tell yourself it's okay to make mistakes, rectify and improve. I hope this helps you to try and talk more so you get the practice that will make you confident with your speech. Please do like, comment and share and of course subscribe if you haven't already committed to that personality enhancement. Thank you so much for watching and remember beyond ability lies Superability. See you soon.